the court heard the charges related to a search warrant that was executed at his Port Melbourne home on January 5, with the alleged drug trail between Mr. Thompson and a co-accused coming to light after police stumbled across a parking ticket. Police Prosecutor Acting Sergeant Karen Malloy said a search of Bedroom 1, occupied by Mr. Thompson, uncovered what was believed to be 134.6 grams of MDMA, 5.5 Xanax tablets, 0.1 grams of ice, 2 sets of digital scales, 8 hard drives, 4 ice pipes and a shoebox filled with clear resealable bags. Mark Thompson moments after being released on bail on Tuesday night photo, Justin McMahon USA further search of shared areas of the home uncovered a handwritten lease agreement and handwritten notes referring to large sums of money. In upstairs mezzanine level and inside a magnetic box police then found 33.1 grams of ice, 5.6 grams of ephedrines, an LSD tab, 4 Xanax tablets and 3 white capsules. Police informant Detective Senior Constable Naomi Burke said the items in the bedroom area were located inside keypad-only entry room similar to a converted walk-in robe built into the converted warehouse. It had Geelong Cats memorabilia and a coin collection, she said. We say this belongs to Mr. Thompson. Subsequent DNA testing has been complete on the drugs packages. Indicating the presence of the accused's DNA, Thomas Windsor, Mark Thompson's co-accused, Photo, Bendigo Advertiser Senior Constable Burke said a further 839.7 grams of MDMA was found in an area lived in Bucko accused Thomas Windsor but due to oversights from the clandestine drug unit DNA could not be obtained. The court heard the link between the pair came to light after police arrested Mr. Windsor in Lara on January 5 and inside an orange Toyota he was driving was a parking ticket to outside the Port Melbourne address. Mr. Thompson's former housemate Mr. Windsor has previously been charged with trafficking a drug of dependence, after raids in Geelong and Port Melbourne. Mr. Thompson's former wife Annette and daughter arrived partway through the bail application, which went for more than an hour. His lawyer, David Hallows, used his client's family ties to argue that bail be granted. Mark Bomber Thompson in his coaching days in 2014, photo, Pat Scala Magistrate Leonard Bree released Mr. Thompson on the conditions he report to South Melbourne Police Station three times a week, not contact co-accused or witnesses, reside at his Port Melbourne home and not attend any international airports. Mr. Thompson, wearing a blue jumper and light-colored pants, has paid a $20,000 surety, surrendered his passport, and must not consume any drugs of dependence. He'd be able to travel interstate for football interests, the court heard, after Mr. Hallows argued that his client has business interests across Australia. Mr. Thompson led Geelong to premierships in 2007 and 2009 but left the Cats in 2010 to join Essendon, the club he had once captained, as a senior assistant to James Hurd. He became embroiled in the supplement saga that led to 34 past and present Essendon players being suspended for the 2016 season. Mr. Thompson was fined $30,000 for his role in the scandal, one that had seen him replace a suspended Hurtis coach in 2014 but later lose any interest in the sport. He revealed last year the saga had made him bitter and twisted and contributed to the breakdown of his marriage. He is due to return to court on May 20.